Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we're going to use an algebraic method to eliminate the parameter and that will help us to identify what type of curve this equation represents. Okay, so again, very important, we're going to eliminate. How are we going to do that here? Okay, so look at here. This is kind of a special case. You need to use some knowledge from trigonometry. You'll see it in a moment why. First of all, I want you to square the x square. So obviously, we're going to have 5 cosine of t square, which is going to be what? 25 cosine t squared. The same thing about the y. Why it's 5 sine of t. We're going to square it, and we're going to get y squared equals 5 sine of t squared, the whole quantity, and we end up with 25 sine squared. And now we're going to add these two guys. We're going to add them right here. And we're going to have x squared plus y squared. So like I said, we add them. And what do we get? 25 cosine t squared, right? This guy plus 25 sine t squared. And what do you notice? We can factor out the 25. And we have here something that we really like. Right, we have cosine squared plus sine squared, which is a famous trig identity, if you remember, that is 1. So that's the reason our final answer for this problem is x squared plus y squared equals 25. So we really did not eliminate the parameter. We used some trig identity to get rid of the parameter, different than some other parametric equation. Well, now this one tells us what? We have a circle or radius of 5, right? Radius of radius of 5, okay? Let's see a little bit on the graphing calculator, okay? Well, don't forget to click the mode button and change your calculator in the parametric mode using the keyboard. And don't forget to click enter. Then you're going to type in the two equation and then you type you press the graph button and you get this one. This one really doesn't look like a circle because the window is not a square. If you want to see a circle, use the window button, not the zoom choice, and use square. And then you're gonna see that circle I mentioned before. Okay, another thing that you need to be aware, if you do not see a circle for some reason, adjust your thing to be like this, okay, and you see 0 to 6.28, 6.28 is 2 times 3.14, 2 pi, that's the reason we, you see the whole thing. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.